Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this, a regular hexagonal lamina of size 25 mm is lying in such a way that one of its corners on HP while the corner opposite to the corner on which it rests is in VP. If the lamina makes 60 degree to HP, draw the projections of the lamina. According to the given question, one has to construct an hexagon by using a applications macro run macro and inside polygon and open that uh, select the flatlet the sides of the hexagon is given as 25 enter the sides as 25 and the hexagon is having six edges then click on the apply relationship and press the left click anywhere on the screen so that one will get a hexagon and this hexagon is supposed to be rotated in such a way that it is a side sorry corner resting so for which one has to rotate the lamina like this so now one uh, vertical edge has to be rotated as a horizontal edge then you can see the corner resting hexagon is going to be obtained make use of a line command with respect to 0 0.13 as a thickness then draw the uh, corners uh, uh, draw the projectors from each and every corner still it touches the xy line to draw the front view now after drawing these lines uh, change the line thickness to 0 0.5 millimeter and then join this front view as a split line so that it will be helpful for to draw the projectors in the next stages then make use of smart dimension show that the size of the hexagon is uh, 25 millimeter make use of text command name the corners as a b c d and e then this is going to be f according to this namings in the front view a dash then uh, b dash as well as f dash then c dash e dash c dash e dash and then we have d dash then uh, the lamina is inclined at 60 degree to hp for which the front view is supposed to be uh, rotated at an angle of 60 degree for which select e dash e dash is repositioned on the x y line go to rotate command and e dash is on the x y line and d dash is going to be rotated and the rotation angle is 60 degree and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter start drawing the projectors that is connect the right extreme start with the right extreme corner d dash d and a will be connected and a is going to be connected here and then the next points are c and e so we'll go to the c now uh, the c has been selected so C is connected to C and along with C we have B also so we will draw the projector of this also and then the remaining is E and F so we will project the E and F now this completes the required projectors then using angle between command show that these angles are 30 degree sorry 60 degree and then make use of a line command sorry make use of a text command name the respective corners this will be A this will be B, this will be C, this will be D, this will be E and this is going to be F. And after marking these things using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter, join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, then E to F is an intersection point again back to A. Now, the opposite corner D is in VP so one has to select the top view one has to select the top view once the top view is selected go to move command move in such a way that with respect to D D is supposed to be on the XY line then make use of uh, rotate command rotate in such a way that D and A will be perpendicular and then uh, the D is supposed to be the uh, top view hence the D will be positioned below the X Y line make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 from the right extreme corner that is B C E that is B and C so connect C to C along with C we have E also so we will project E also to that and then B and F is there so we will project the B and F so that the four points is finished then a is on the xy line and d is above the xy line so we'll connect like this 
now this is going to be the required projectors for all the six corners so make use of text command and start giving the naming for the corner so this corner is going to be a dash and this is going to be b dash and here it will be c dash this is going to be d dash this is going to be e dash and finally this is going to be f dash make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter starting with a dash join to b dash then c dash d dash e dash then intersection f dash back to a dash now this completes the problem as per the given conditions now if you have any doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video to all your first year engineering students once again thanks for watching my video